Dear friends, welcome to Electronics Lab. In this session, I'll be showing the demonstration of RC phase shift oscillator. Along with the demonstration, I'll be explaining the design procedure in a simple fashion. The ultimate aim of the experiment is to design and verify the performance of RC phase shift oscillator. First of all, I'll ask one question. What is an oscillator? Oscillator is basically a DC to AC converter, DC to AC converter, where there is no input is provided. You cannot see any input in oscillator. And uh, you will be getting, in the output of RC phase shift oscillator will be sinusoidal waveform only. Okay. There are different oscillators available. RC phase shift oscillator, vein bridge oscillator, then crystal based oscillator, uh, culprit oscillators. There are different types of oscillator. Now we focus only on RC phase shift oscillator. As you can observe the circuit diagram of RC phase shift oscillator, there are two major components in case of RC phase shift oscillator. The first segment, so I'll be marking separately, you can have an observation. The first segment, you can call it as Amplifier. It is an amplifier part. Amplifier. So we call it as it's a common emitter, right? CE amplifier, common emitter amplifier. You know, the transistor acts as an amplifier. The second component you can call this is called a phase shifting circuit. Can you see this particular part? This is your phase shifting circuit. Please note down. Phase shifter. It is a phase shifter. Why it is phase shifter? There is a RC combination now. In case of capacitor, current leads the voltage. Or you can call it as voltage lacks the current. So, three combinations like uh, R5 and C1, R6 and C3, C2, then uh, RF and uh, C3. So, one combination like uh, RC1 combination, it gives the phase shift of 60 degree. You know, there are three combinations now. RC, this is one combination. Uh, this is another combination, RC combination. And you can see, this is your third combination. So what is 3 into 60 degree? 3 into 60 degree is nothing but 180 degree. The speciality is, there is a 180 degree out of phase. Output will be 180 degree out of phase. Understanding now? So uh, this is your entire information about uh, the RC phase shift oscillator. Now I wanted to add one more point regarding the feedback. Now you can see there is a uh, feedback resistor RF. So one advantage is uh, we can tune uh, this feedback resistor RF and you can uh, tune the output. Suppose if the output is, if you, once you change the value of RF, if the output is not varying, that means your, your output will not be correct. So one of the thumb, thumb rule you can apply. All right. So we have to design these components. So let us see how to design. Okay. Anyway, for a common emitter amplifier, uh, we already studied how to design the common emitter amplifier uh, in the first experiment. Uh, now we'll be discussing uh, how to uh, design that particular uh, with only for the phase shifting part. Assume that frequency, the generator frequency of output voltage is uh, 10 kilohertz. In the sense, I need to generate the waveform, correct? Oscillator output will be uh, AC only, right? AC waveform I have to generate. So I am assuming that uh, I need to generate the waveform of 10 kilohertz. That is my uh, expectation. I can say like that. Let, first of all, let us assume the value of capacitors. Like uh, you have seen the phase shifting part, no? Uh, three capacitors, there are three capacitors, C1, C2, C3. Let me assume the value of three capacitors are uh, 0.001 microfarad each. Then there is a formula like uh, Frequency. Frequency is given by frequency of the RC phase shift oscillator is given by uh, 1 divided by 2 pi into uh, RC into square root of 6. You have to remember this. Now what you can do is, uh, anyway you can uh, substitute the value of frequency. 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 hertz 
that is equal to uh, 1 divided by or else uh, your convenience no need to convert into kilohertz it's okay uh, you can you don't need to convert her, kilohertz into hertz your, your own convenience 2 pi into uh, r into c means how much 0 0.001 into 10 to the power minus 6 into square root of 6 from this you need to calculate the value of r so value of r will be you will be getting 6.5 kilo ohm but 6.5 kilo ohm is not available in the market you can approximate 6.5 kilo ohm into standard value of resistor that is 6.8 kilo ohm so the resistor value will be choosing uh, as 6.8 kilo ohm for capacitor value these are the rc combinations why rc combinations required it is mainly for phase shifting purpose i think you got my point so i have designed the value of r and c respectively this is the first procedure you need to follow you, know, you you should have the output like this this is your expected out, output so we have to measure the frequency and amplitude because it's a sinusoidal waveform obviously uh, it has amplitude and a peak to peak voltage or we can call it as amplitude amplitude of peak to peak value all right so these are the two things you are supposed to measure and this is your expected output fine First in the foremost, let us directly go for the procedure. So you have to do the connections as per the circuit diagram. Check the values and uh, where to provide the VCC. VCC you can provide with the help of uh, regulated DC power supply. Uh, then uh, how to uh, observe the output? Output you can observe through the CRO. Where should I connect the CRO? CRO should be connected through the capacitor C4. Uh, so one end you have to connect the CRO terminal. Other end you can connect to the ground. Right. And uh, you need to decide which point is ground and which is uh, VCC in the breadboard. You have to finalize it and make sure that all the points are proper or not. These are the precautions you have to do at the beginning. So first of all, you have to do the connections as per the circuit diagram. So the output voltage uh, V0 should be across at CR. Uh, it should be obtained at CRO uh, at this particular point, C4. Clear? Uh, the 10 kilo ohm port is adjusted to get the stable output. Where is 10 kilo ohm port? Yes, this is your 10 kilo ohm port. So you can tune the output by using this feedback resistor. Now you have to measure the frequency and the peak to peak voltage of the output waveform. These are the major things you are expected to do. So procedure is very simple only. Now let us start doing the connection. I, I have already uh, demo uh, I recorded one video that I would like to show you for your betterment. So that you can understand how to make the video, how to do the connections, everything in a perfect manner. Also, how to take the reading. Here, you need to measure the frequency. So you have to consider the time per division. That I will letting you know. Letting you uh, let you know. Now I would like to show you uh, the demonstration of RC phase shift oscillator. First of all, please collect all the components accordingly and uh, use the breadboard. Now you can observe how we are going to connect. So first of all, you need to fix your transistor, NPN transistor, identify the emitter, then base collector terminal. Then you have to perform the connections. So we are connecting the passive components. So first of all, we can complete the uh, common emitter amplifier combination. All right. So we have to decide the vcc and the ground necessarily okay so here you can see the top position we are considered as a vcc in the bottom we considered as a ground part now we have to connect the components accordingly as i already mentioned you that there are two segments in the whole circuit is divided into two segments one is amplifier common emitter amplifier combination another one is uh, rc uh, phase shifting components using the rc component you are performing the phase shifting operation right so like this you are supposed to perform okay now the first part is over so you can find out the terminals like emitter what are the connections are available from the collector also you will come to know what are the connections are available uh, then base or base also you need to identify what about the connections now we are connecting the three capacitors C1, C2, C3 uh, for the phase shifting purpose, right? Now, uh, we need to connect the resistive elements. Yes. 
otherwise we cannot get the phase shift we can't produce the phase shift so doing the phase shift we are doing the phase shifting operation right now rc combination all right yeah so that particular part is also finished you can very clearly observe then we we require one uh, output capacitor c4 so c4 will be connected it should be at a collector terminal only so we are connecting uh, the c4 okay can identify the collector terminal and connect accordingly. So we have done the connection. It should be compact. The connection should be compact. So like this, you can proceed. Better I word than usage of number of wires. It should be compact, rigid, right? Check the, the for uh, each hole also. Now we are connecting uh, the port because feedback resistor is required now. So we are doing the RF. Port we are going to connect it. Yes, we connected the port. Potential meter port. Okay. Now we need to uh, provide the uh, VCC of 10 volt. How to provide the VCC? You need to use regulated DC power supply. Those arrangements we are performing. So you can observe carefully how we are doing the connection. So emitter, you have to identify properly. Okay, emitter base collector. That is very important. If you change the terminal, you never get the output. That's a problem. Also, the transistor may be spoiled. All right. So be careful while doing the connection. Now we are uh, connecting the VCC. So we have the regulated DC power supply. Then the output, output, output at uh, C4. C4 capacitor. One is connected to, uh, one point is connected to VCC. Other is at the ground. That will be directly given to the CRO. Okay. There is no separate input because oscillator, no, we are not giving any input. Now, what we will do is uh, we will connect the output at C4 to the CRO at any one of the channel. And uh, we need to provide the VCC of 10 volt. It is very clear. Now, by using the RF, you have to fine tune the output. Yes, of course, we have got the output. This is your expected output. Okay. So, you can see it very clearly. So, we have to tune, fine tune uh, the potentiometer to get the output properly. Yeah, we got the output. Now, we have to measure the time period and free, free, time, time period we are supposed to measure then you need to calculate the frequency yes of course you got it yeah now uh, what you are supposed to do is you have to measure the frequency how to measure the frequency first of all you have to see the time per division this is your time per division correct time per division okay you need to identify the scale then take any, any of the waveform, like uh, from one cycle you have to consider. Let us say from here to here. Now you have to measure the distance, horizontal distance you are supposed to measure. The horizontal distance should be multiplied with the, the time per division. That is called a time period. Time period will be getting. How to get the time period? Measure the horizontal distance, this particular part you are supposed to measure. Then you have to measure the time per division. The time per division should be multiplied with the, uh, the horizontal distance. Then you will get the time period. How to get the frequency from time period? Frequency is nothing but 1 by time period. Like that you are supposed to calculate. I think you got my point. Okay. So like that you are supposed to calculate. If you require a separate video on how to measure the time period and frequency, uh, from the CRO, I am going to make out separately. Okay. Yes, you can see this. So, this is your entire setup. So, we have to change the port and tune the output. Then you, you need to measure the frequency. I think you uh, understood how to uh, do the experiment on RC phase shift oscillator. Okay. If you are having any queries related to the design or then how to tune the output, 
and uh, how to uh, measure the frequency so then how to compare the theoretical output with the, the real time output you can put up in the comment box so this is the way how to perform the uh, rc patient oscillator uh, let me know if you are having any further queries we are very happy to answer back uh, thank you so much for watching this video